Hello, my name is Killian Donnelly and I play the Phantom in the Phantom of the Opera here in London's West End. And this is Show Circle. It's incredible. It's absolute, it's an honour. It's one of those roles that when you say to someone, I'm the Phantom in the Phantom of the Opera, it's always met with a wow or oh wow, oh that's amazing. It's hard work. But it's, a, it's an incredible, incredible honour. A lot of people ask this question and they go, which is harder? And you'd think that it's Jean Valjean because he's on stage more. He sings higher and bigger and louder. But actually everything the Phantom does on stage is loud, is aggressive, is frustrated. So there's a lot of... Uh, technique involved and a lot of care on the voice it's all about doing it over and over again and I actually asked previous phantoms slash Valjeans about this and they all said the phantom's harder so look after yourself hence why I'm talking like this oh I have a lot of rest <laughs> I, I, I try and get I do try and get a good night's sleep, but after the show, I'm usually energized until like one, two in the morning. So I don't get up till about 10, half 10, sorry. The best thing I do is after a show, I stop talking. I steam every night for about 10 minutes, and that's the best thing for your voice. And then I rest on steamed chords, if that makes sense. Oh, the shouting. The shouting at the end in the final layer. It's amazing. It's, it's, your adrenaline gets you there. But um, that final layer is one of the toughest scenes, but it's so rewarding when you get it right. And there's three of us on the stage, Raoul, Christine, and myself. And you can see, you can feel the emotion and you can feel the heartbreak in the, in, this, in the room when you're doing it. So yeah, that's getting yourself to that emotional place every night is, is really hard. The makeup, we set aside two hours and I have four makeup artists uh, who alter it from time to time. And the longest would probably be an hour and a half and the shortest is probably an hour and five minutes. And it's, it's lovely. It's very therapeutic when you're just sat there. I'm not someone who goes to like spa weekends or saunas and stuff. Um, but I guess that's what it feels like because I'm just playing on my phone or listening to music or reading a book. And then, yeah, you just have a little chit chat with the makeup artist. And by the end, you look like the Phantom. Probably, coming from Ireland, probably Colin Wilkinson. Um, I heard all of his uh, renditions of Bring Him Home or Music of the Night. Uh, my father gave me his album when I was about 11 years old. Uh, never got to see him on stage until he was in concert years later, but that was probably my first introduction to hear musical theatre. And then it was just sort of seeing more and more people on the Amdram background back home in Ireland. That's where I grew up. So I remember doing a Fiddler on the Roof years ago in an amateur production and watching the Tevier from side stage and just seeing his consistency every night. The same thing I did with the Javert when I got into Les Miserables for stars. I stood side stage and watched that show every night. And it's, again, it's the consistency, it's the passion that they put into their performance every night. Rejection is a huge, huge part of this business. And you got to sort of roll with it and know that it's part of it. Not everything is uh, positive and you're going to get the role, you're going to get the role. You just do your best, auditions especially. Go into an audition trusting the creative team. That's what I do. So if I have five minutes to sing a song in front of five strangers, I know that they're all creative people. They're not going to be laughing at me, 
judging me. I think these reality TV shows, there's a judging panel, which isn't what auditions are about. Auditions are about pouring your heart out for five minutes in front of creatives. Be creative. So just trust the room. So when you go to an audition, that'll sort of put a positive spin on it and, and it'll actually excite you to do a good job as opposed to just going in nervous. Nerves are good as well to have. I mean, looking at Phantom itself, I'm always watching the manager's side stage and going, I'd love a go at that. Fagin was the first role I played when I was 11 years old. So I'd probably love to take a go at that again at some point. Um, but yeah, for now, do Phantom and then I'll do a manager. <laughs> Yeah, every night. Every night. It's a good thing. It's brilliant because it, 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 it sends you into the scene and use it. The day I don't get nervous is the day I'll give up. So I'm behind the mirror for uh, my first entrance and I can hear Christine singing and I know there's four bars until I sing, three bars, two bars, one bar. You're about to sing and my nerves build, 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 build. But the second I start to sing, my nerves go away and you just sort of take on the character. But yeah, nerves are always there and they're a good thing. I do, I do an odd warm up where I do a lot of funny noises. So there's one where I pull my tongue and I go, hey guy, yay. And it's very odd, but I'll be in the bathroom and my dresser and my makeup artist are in here and all they can hear is and that's how I become the Phantom. 